One of the most influential Vatican cardinals testifies before an investigative commission on the issue of dozens of sex abuse allegations leveled against Australian priests. Cardinal George Pell, who is in Rome, testified before Australia's Royal Commission via a video link. During the hearing, the high-ranking cardinal acknowledged that the church has made grave mistakes over the past centuries and that he wouldn't, quote, defend the indefensible. He also added that the church should take serious measures to stop such crimes from happening. Police have accused Pell of committing multiple offenses when he was a priest in the Australian city of Ballard. This comes as dozens of Australian sex abuse victims and their relatives traveled to Rome to be on hand as Pell testified. For me, I, I was abused by a number of different people, but the, the largest one that's led me here uh, was my uncle, who was a priest. And, and that started when I was about 11 and went for four years. And that was repeated abuse um, in many places. It is very difficult to believe he didn't know because every other priest and bishop who was, have been in the commission have all admitted to knowing something. And Cardinal Pell was in the same meetings, in the same groups. He's the only one who said he knew nothing. We had three daughters, Emma, the eldest one, uh, committed suicide in 2008. Uh, in 1999, our middle daughter, Katie, who was also sexually abused by our priest. It uh, destabilises. This is one of the rarest occasions in which a senior Catholic cardinal is held accountable for the scandal. The Roman Catholic Church has been hit by numerous scandals in the U.S. and Europe over the past few years involving allegations of cover-ups and protection of pedophile priests. To uh, get some insight on the story, we're going to uh, Congregational Pastor Mr. Ellie Joseph James. Mr. James, it's good to have you here on Top 5 on Press TV. Now, uh, despite what has been acknowledged by the church, uh, why do you think it is that many people are still skeptical about uh, their uh, admit admission and uh, admittance, that is, and the fact that they, they keep uh, confirming that such uh, horrible mistakes have happened, but uh, nothing is really being done to remedy that? Well, I think the real reason, it's obvious that the Catholic Church worldwide has been rocked by this pedophilia scandal. It's also been rocked by a homosexuality scandal. And the church is busy covering it up uh, with no concern for the victims and their families, as your clip just demonstrated. Uh, in fact, in America, at least 12 Catholic dioceses have gone bankrupt because of lawsuits filed against these dioceses. Uh, it's quite an amazing statistic that the Catholic Church is continuing to allow these dioceses to go bankrupt instead of doing something about the problem, which just shows that there is an endemic problem within the Vatican, within the entire church hierarchy. To, they are determined to cover up the, the horrible situation here. And the re, in my opinion, the reason why the Vatican is covering all this up is because it goes straight up to the Vatican. Uh, even the present Pope has been charged with sexual abuse of children. So uh, this is why the Vatican cannot afford to allow this scandal to go beyond local dioceses, local parishes. And in terms of the image that this is, you know, promulgating throughout the Christian world, and it's been hurting a lot of people's sentiments for sure. Now, what can be done by, by your colleagues and yourself and the likes in order to restore that good image and kind of rescue uh, Christianity from such uh, scandals? Well, it's, it's true that Christianity in general has, ha has been rocked with a kind of uh, well, it's called apostasy in the Bible, that uh, they have been not, not watchmen on the gates, and they have failed to, uh, to expose lawlessness within the church, not just within the Catholic Church, but within the Protestant world again. Uh, also, uh, what we have really going on in the Catholic Church is this. John the Twenty-Third was actually a Freemason. 
And I'd like to put up a, a photograph of a, a book that all Catholics should read. Let me hold it steadily there. The Plot Against the Church by Maurice Pinay. It is one of the most important books that all Catholics should read. I am an ex-Catholic, and the reason I left the Catholic Church was because the contradictions contained in Vatican II, which was called by John the Twenty-Third. John the Twenty-Third was a Freemason, and the book, this book, the Plot Against the Church, documents how Freemasonry in the 1920s and 1930s had made a decision to infiltrate the Catholic Church infiltrate the cardinals, the, the archbishops, the bishops, etc., eventually to take over the Vatican, which they did with John XXIII, otherwise known as Angelo Roncalli. I sent to your newsroom a, a photograph of Roncalli as Archbishop of Venice being surrounded by members of Propaganda Due, which is uh, the Italian Mafia. Okay? And there was a prophecy uh, of La Salette given in 1846, which stated that the Vatican would be taken over by Satan. And that's exactly what happened when John XXIII became Pope. He was, in fact, an anti-Pope, and uh, there have been several anti-Popes since, with the exception of John Paul I, who lived uh, as Pope for only 33 days. And you know that the Freemasons... Uh, their highest rank is 33 degrees, and so that was a signal to the world of Freemasonry that uh, the Freemasons murdered John Paul I. Well, this well, is Pastor how James, <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, the Vatican and the uh, Catholic Church, now these scandals uh, don't seem to be uh, restricted only to Catholicism. They may well, have right. also otherwise uh, afflicted uh, uh, the pro uh, Protestant Church as well. Now, uh, uh, what can be done there, yes, and yeah. is there any major difference? Well, I think the major difference is that the Protestant world uh, doesn't, it, it takes care, it doesn't have the same level of scandal. This might occur now and then, but it's more frowned upon. Remember, Martin Luther was the founder of Protestantism, and he referred to the Catholic Church as the Antichrist. That tradition is still alive and well in mo most Lutheran denominations. However, uh, what's been happening lately in the modern world is that Protestantism has becoming more and more like Catholicism and looking the other way when uh, church officials commit horrendous crimes such as this. It's not as bad in the Protestant world, but uh, the Protestant world better wake up and not follow suit and not Im Im imitate the Roman Catholic Church. Pastor James, I want to thank you for your participation tonight. 